Okay, so Dr. Grover, um, sometimes I know that mothers deal with postpartum depression after they have their babies. And with that said, um, how does that correlate also with mothers who have had maybe a mommy makeover and come out of surgery? Is there, is there a depression that they could deal with with that as well? You know, there are instances when patients will undergo a cosmetic procedure and they may have some sort of post-procedure depression. And that could happen to men or women, and it could happen to somebody even if they've had the most amazing result and outcome. Um, it is a change, and sometimes that change is a little bit much for them to handle. And, and sometimes they're going through um, a state of slight depression that, oh, what did I put myself through? You know, if they're recovering and they're having some discomfort or pain or they're not as mobile and active as they were previously and they're not able to take care of their family and their kids, sometimes they can be a little bit down on that. Um, so you do have to be careful because there are patients or, or women in general who, who may have a child and, and have some postpartum depression. And so that coupled along with post-surgery um, feelings, it could, it could exacerbate things. So sometimes they probably need to wait until they get through that time of their postpartum depression before they jump into a mommy makeover, would you say? Yeah, definitely. You don't want to operate on somebody within the first three or four months following childbirth. You want to give them time for their body to normalize, for them to become active again or more active depending on what their level of activity was during their pregnancy and really allow the body to, to undergo some changes and then reassess them and decide that uh, this is the best thing for them at this time.